So I've had a few questions about what happened to the fuse. I'm going to tell you. Stay tuned. Hi everyone, hope everyone's keeping safe and well. It's strange times, but uh, we've got to crack on. Keep safe and uh, keep looking after each other. Anyway, as some of you may know, if you watch my previous videos, I had a Fuse e-scooter from uh, Furo Systems sent to me to review and check out. I really enjoyed it. It was great. Um, so much so that I ordered one. And yeah, it came through and it was great, but uh, I sent it back. And then uh, I've had a few questions of people asking me why I sent it back, so I'm going to tell you. Um, the review unit, unit was really good. I mean, obviously it was it was worn, it was a little bit battered, but it, it worked perfectly fine. It was really good. I didn't have the um, remote fob key thing, uh, which was a bit of a shame. But um, yeah, it, it was fine. It was a re it was a demo unit. I accepted the fact it was a bit na a bit battered and stuff. Um, so I thought, yeah, getting a new one would be obviously mine, it'll be fresh out of the box and, and great. So yeah, ordered it, came through really quickly, really good, unpacked it. And yeah, I then went to lift the sort of the, the stem up and, and lock it in place and the bolt wouldn't go in. It was just no impossible. I had to get like a, a shoe, like a heel of a shoe to hammer it in, into place. And I thought, well, that's a bit naff you know clearly the, the the milling hasn't quite made the hole big enough to get the slot in so that's a bit disappointing I then had to really wrestle with it to undo the bolt to then fold the stem down again so that was you know that was a little bit of inconvenience um, at this point I hadn't actually ridden it um, so I you know I charged it and everything waited for a, a decent spell of weather and then I got it out to go to the office um, as you can see this is my sort of home office which is full of clutter and stuff um, but yeah I I sort of got outside set off and then I heard a sort of clicking noise a sort of a fluff, 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 fluff kind of noise from the back and I looked down and actually the it was really weird the wheel or the tyre was not on properly it was almost sort of skew whiff on one of the inside edges um, so I got it home got the tyre repair tools out and was you know, getting the, um, I don't know what they're called, little plastic things you put in to kind of pry open the wheel. So I was trying to do that and um, yeah, I was just battling with it and fighting with it and I couldn't pop it out into the rim properly. So I contacted them and said, I, I can't fix this, what do we do? And they said, send it back and we'll get it all checked and sent back to you. And I, I then got thinking, said, this isn't great. Um, to show you this kind of stuff should be checked before it's sent out you know it should be decent it should be good quality and then I started thinking what if you know I get a puncture I can't get this wheel off I can't get the tire off to actually repair it myself and and repair the puncture so that's going to be a real ball ache um, I'm going to have to take it to someone to do it and then I started thinking how abundant are the parts for this if something goes wrong and I, you know, I need a new cable or I need a new brake disc or something like that, how easy is it to get? And it actually looked pretty difficult. So I just thought, ah, send it back. So that's why it went back. And uh, it's kind of why I've gone with the, the Xiaomi Pro 2 now, because obviously it's it's not as a, a powerful as scooter, but you get that kind of quality with it. It's it's decent. It's well made. There's a reason they sell so many of them, and there's a reason they're so popular. There, are, it's easy to get spare parts. It's easy to service. Yeah, all right, getting the wheels off to repair punctures might be a bit difficult, but you kind of accept that. But yeah, it just kind of made me think. Buying a scooter, an e-scooter, you should maybe consider going with the mainstream brands, unless you you're totally happy to accept maybe slightly difficulties in getting spare parts or whatever um but yeah that was that was just my thinking behind it it was a good scooter to ride the fuse um it was great i got the chance to to have a demo unit and review it um but at the end of the day it just wasn't for me so anyway happy to answer any more questions stay tuned more videos coming soon and uh, yeah don't forget to like and subscribe take care till next time bye now